That's almost a half a million dollars in cost. I never get why niggas hate. It's probably cause I'm doing better than them anyway. It's probably cause I get they bitches wetter anyway. It's probably cause I'm living in there in a lower place. They're walking in there. What's going on guys, man? I've been getting this question. It's been, it been flowing around for a little minute. People been asking me like, how much does it cost to build a uh, truck? How much have I spent on my truck? Like how much money I put into it and everything? And um, I threw y'all little answers every now and then because like I don't know for sure. But today I was like, you know what? I'm just a little curious. I want to find out how much money I actually put into my truck because I have all the receipts. So in this vlog today, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to actually add up everything so far I done put into this truck, man, because like. Everybody, a lot of people don't know, man. It costs a lot of money to build one of these trucks. That's just that. I didn't know when I found out. I was like shocked. Like, I was, I thought, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I've been doing cars for a little minute. You know, I just buy some rims on it. Uh, you know, a little add like music and all that. But like, I didn't know it take as much money as it take to build a truck. That what shocked me. So, I have a book of, then a book of receipts. And this, everything I have did to my truck. I'm gonna sit down and I'm actually gonna add it up. So, you know, while I do this, let me set everything up. Here goes some calculations. And I wanna mind you guys, this is not everything. This is just the receipts that I have. And this doesn't include gas, this, you know what I'm saying? None of that. This is just the receipts that I have. It came out to be $104,000. Plus my truck when I bought it was one hundred and nine thousand. That's two hundred and thirteen thousand dollars just on the truck. So I'm gonna ask you guys a question real quick. You know what I'm saying? Just to be curious. Just with that, don't you think I could have had a Lamborghini or anything so far if I wanted to? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just I'm just being like real like real talk. Just like, think about it. Like okay, all right now nah. let's take this total. We're gonna take this total right here. We're gonna take two hundred and thirteen. Even though this ain't even the full total. And we just go add my other cars to it. So my charger. Wait a minute, I'm gonna go to another page. Leave that right there. Okay, with the charger, my charger, I find that's my charger. I got the charger for mm, I think like forty some thousand. What was it? Yeah, forty three thousand. Alright. I put over twenty five thousand dollars in the charger. That's a fact. Go add that up. That's sixty-eight thousand. All right. Now, let go to my don't. I paid thirty-five thousand dollars for my don't. Thirty-five thousand. How much I put in the don't so far? One well, with just rims. I spent like sixty-five hundred on rims. Couldn't use that right now. That's four to one thousand right there. All right, that's a don't charger. Now the blue box. The blue box I spent. I paid thirty thousand for the car. I have to put over twenty thousand in it with the music and shit like that, and uh, get the little other shit fixed. Probably more than that. All right, that's fifty thousand. That's the boss. Okay, let's see. Uh, Monte Carlo. The money. I spent 15000 on the money. How much money have I put in the money? Uh, I probably put about... I think I put 5000 in that money so far. With the frame notch and everything. So that's 20000 That's the money. And then we'll go to the blue box. I mean, the uh, the black box. The other box is put box. Now, so I spent seven thousand on that car, and I, I paid Jose I think like two thousand. Then my new rims, I spent uh, sixty five. Want to believe again? Yep, sixty five. They got nothing to do with taxes. We just we just even it out. You know what I'm saying? It actually more than ever. We just even it out. That's sixteen five. For the black box. Okay, and the bins, the bins are like twenty three thousand, so twenty three thousand plus uh three thousand the wrap. Oh plus uh, another thousand in the rims. 
Okay, it's my bad. Y'all kind of screwed because that's twenty-seven thousand right there. All right, with the bins. Nah, I'm just doing it just to show certain people. You know what I'm saying? Like facts, because like when, when you bring out the facts, it ain't nothing there you can beat around facts, and we know this. So let me add this up. This is how much I have in the car, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all. It's actually more than this. I'm just giving y'all the estimates of what I know for a fact. It's actually more I've spent, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just, I'm not going to go into all the way details. But this here is a fact. So let's go ahead and add this up real quick. I'm doing this in front of y'all so that for y'all can see this y'all So the charger, 68000 Even though I know I put more in there. 68000 plus the don't, 41500 Plus the box, that's 50000 Plus the uh, Monte Carlo, twenty thousand. Plus the uh, black box, sixteen five hundred. Plus uh, the the uh, Benz, twenty seven thousand. Plus the truck, two one three zero nine nine zero seven equals. That's almost a half million dollars in cars. You know what I'm saying? So like if I wanted a Rolls Royce, you know what I mean, or, or any of that, like, come on, let's be let's be realistic. Like I could have been got a Lamborghini if I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Like, or any of that. That's just what I have in the car, like, and that's and half of it's just bullshit. You feel me? Like me not even putting real money into them. Like y'all see my car, like my car, they all look good, but it can be way better than what they look like, and we all know this. I tell y'all this all the time, you know, but I'm. And then, so that told, so if I'm finna do my donk over, I'm finna do my Monte Carlo over the interior and all that good stuff. And my box Chevy not even done, I gotta put a motor in that. And, 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 and what I'm adding to the charge and stuff now, like I just did the charge over, uh, then the bins to get wrapped. Like, bro, that's, 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 that's damn near, that's, that's gonna be like $600,000. I just spent it in cars. So it's like, you know, for the people that want to know the first thing about the truck, I've spent two hundred some thousand dollars in my truck. Okay, uh, it's not cheap to get a truck. I'm just telling y'all that now, you know, um, cause I added a lot of stuff to my truck, and as y'all see, I have no reason to lie, man. These are extreme receipts. You did come on, man. You see what I'm saying? Like all these extreme receipts. I hope y'all can see on how blue it is, but y'all see it though. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see the facts. We ain't, we ain't gotta hide the facts. They facts, everything facts over here. That's all that, and she still got some over here. So, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it take money to do this stuff. And you know, I be seeing a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this fool go separate from his money one day. One day he gonna lose all his money and all that. You know, it actually kind of sad when people wish that on you. You know that that just show you how how how. Oh, I hate the guy in his stomach. Oh man, he he spent too much money. You know, I never, like I told y'all, man, don't never pay attention to what somebody else does with their money, you know, because y'all got to think about, you can sit down and watch a person, but you never know what really going on in life. You never know. A lot of y'all don't know how much money my bank account. I did be, I did be talking to y'all, you know. I learned one thing. They say, no worry about nobody say about you. Just let, just let it speak through your actions. But I like to talk, though. I, that's just one thing about me, man. I like to talk. Everybody know that. Core like to talk. So it ain't nothing personal. It ain't nothing, it ain't no personal problem, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just the fact that I just like to talk. I like to, you know what I'm saying? Motivate people and all that good stuff or whatever. You know. Sometimes y'all take some of my talking the wrong way. Like every time I talk about a certain thing, y'all be like, "Oh, here he go." I'm like, "Bro, I was just, I was just having a decent conversation. Like, wasn't that serious? I wasn't in my feelings or nothing. <laughs> you feel me? Damn, boy. Look at this." Today is a beautiful day. We got a fucking clear sky today with the sun beaming right there. So you know what that means, right? I I just wanted y'all to know that y'all know what that means. Yes, sir. That means Corey finna pull out the blue ball Chevy today. I will pull out the Monte Carlo, but I haven't checked that fuel pump yet. Uh, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wait till I actually confirm to see what that problem is. I don't want to pull it out. Then I go around it and then it get hot again or whatever happened and then it cut off on me. I don't want to crank up. Then I had to get it back, towed back to the crib again. We're not doing that, so 
once I get this thing here checked out, I'm gonna do it sometime in the week. I just been lazy and doing other stuff. Uh, and I actually want to go ahead and order the fuel pump, uh, uh, the fuel pump because um, I'm not gonna buy from AutoZone or nothing like that. I'm gonna get a real one, so I gotta order it before I eat, before I can even mess with it. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready to pull this uh, box out because I'm gonna get ready to head to Tetra and the screen get y'all an update. My uh, rap came in a day, so I'm gonna get, go see the rap. And I gotta go to that screen because well, I got a guy that wanna come buy them rims from me. My 26 is already. You see him come buy them, but I don't know if he for sure. So just in case, I'm going to the screen. I'm gonna take some nice pictures of the rims and everything, tires, so therefore I can post them. And I'm gonna go to my storage. Uh, well, damn, I can't even really get in my storage because the key to the storage is in the truck and the screen, and the truck is way up on the lift thing. So, ah, uh, but I'm, I got some 24s also that you guys probably remember my truck. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap them, uh, wrap them my rims off. I'm gonna wrap them both of them off, you know, kind of like a little giveaway raffle. You know what I'm saying? Shit ain't nothing free, man. Everybody wants something free, goddamn. Like, you gotta work for something. Like, damn, put something in. Shit, like, I'm tired of giving away stuff for free. I give away so much money, it's ridiculous. Like, I told you, I gave away over $100,000 fat. It's fun fat. That's a fun fat. You know what I'm saying? Like, if y'all follow me on my social medias, y'all would know that. But if y'all don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, definitely Facebook, you wouldn't know that. I done gave away over $100,000. Just gave away. Like, giveaways. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. Like, give me a little give me, a, give me a little credit sometime. Like, damn. Like, yeah, that nigga really, he really humble. He really help people. He really bless people. You know, y'all just be watching me on this channel, but y'all don't go watch my other channels. Y'all don't follow me on social media, so y'all don't really get to see all the shit that I do. But bro, I really be blessing people out here, dog. Like real shit. Like you know, I know I talk shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all probably say I, I can act a little cocky, but you gotta have a little cockiness in you, dog. I don't care who you is. You got to have a little cockiness in you because like you gotta stand on that shit that you believe in, bro. Like I'm fucking cocky. I was cocky to know that I was gonna be a mean now, and I meant that shit. I ain't care what nobody said. So guess what happened? Nigga made it happen. But, you know, I know I get a little cocky sometimes, y'all say I brag or whatever. I got the right to brag. I don't give a fuck nobody say. It. Even if I did brag, I got the right to brag. Nigga, I been I came from nothing. Nigga, I came from a small town. Google it. You in Springs, Alabama. I want y'all to Google that shit. And I want y'all to pull it up on Google Maps and I want y'all to press satellite. And I want y'all to see how small my town is. I'm all the way in Alabama in the country. I come from that. I'm the only person from my city cause that had made it out this big. You feel what I'm saying? So I got the right to brag. Real shit. Like I've been I went through a lot. On top of that, you know what I'm saying? I got the right to flex. Like, come on, man. Look, look, look at the young nigga, bro. Look, look at the young nigga real quick. Come on, man. Man, come on, man. Did my shit. I live here. Nigga came to my house when they say, um, uh, is your parents here? I'm like, what? Parents? Nigga, I am the parent. <laughs> I got two kids. And yeah, this me. He was like, how old are you? I'm 20. 21. 21. Yeah, I'm 21. No way. Yeah, I'm 21. No cap. Wanna see my lights? For real. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got the right to flip. So I did, I'm just saying that, man. You know, I, I have to talk my shit in my vlog. That would really motivate a lot of people. I be, I be getting a lot of messages on Instagram. Man, fuck them people, man. Do you talk your shit? You got the right to do it. So, you know what I'm saying? These people really like it. And I talk my shit because they motivate them. So I'm going to continue to do it. You did. If you don't like it, I can tell you two things. Close your eyes. No, no, no. Unsubscribe from my channel. And if, even if you ain't subscribed, don't come to it. Like, forget that I exist. Don't come to my channel. Like, don't watch me, period. If you see me, just keep, close your eyes and scroll past me. Second, I ain't asked you to watch my channel. So if you don't like it, you know what I'm saying? So, so if you know you don't like the shit that I do or the way I act, and you continue to watch every video I drop, at this point, it ain't my fault. It's your fault. Because I didn't ask you to watch my shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know you. That's what I said on my YouTube live that the shit was so funny. I said, man, it's crazy because you know you have people hang on you, right? And, and people be like, uh, oh, this and this and this and that. And you ain't famous or this and this. I'm like, I said, shit, if you really look at it, you know me. I don't know you. So if I ain't famous, how the fuck I don't know you? I mean, how the fuck you know me? Like, how you know me? And then I got to ask, how you think all of them know me? And I said, listen, let me tell you some crazy shit. People say so much shit about you, right? Especially if they don't know you and you don't know them. You can die today. You can just fall off the face of this earth. You can die. Your family crying. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Your friends crying. Oh, they miss you. No, they miss you. I wouldn't even know. <laughs> I wouldn't even know you died. You know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't even know that you was. I, I wouldn't even know that you felt clean off this earth. Then the crazy part about it, you was hating on me when you was alive. Now you gonna have to go to hell or heaven, wherever you gonna go. You gonna continue to watch me sh do whatever I do. 
You go, you go be able to see me go take a shit in my bathroom, and I won't even know. You go, you go probably hate up there, and I won't even know because you ain't gonna be able to say shit because you did. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Like, yeah, that shit funny as hell to me. Like, I really love that. Like, that would keep me going, man. Like, damn, that nigga hate, but that nigga died today. I won't even know he'll be alright. Fuck it. Anyway, we know we drive. Are we driving that car today? Nah, damn, I'm driving that car today. Like, fuck. What the fuck car I wanna drive today? God damn. I might just ride the four wheeler, man. You know, I might just hop on the four wheeler and just go up the road or some shit. No, I don't even want to ride that four wheeler. I want to ride that four wheeler because, yeah, no, nah, I can't even ride that four wheeler because I'd fuck that four wheeler up. So I'm going to have to ride that four wheeler. But all just aside, though, y'all, check this out, right? So we had rolled four wheelers the other day, right? And this shit crazy as hell, right? So if y'all don't know, this the four wheeler that Nate had. And um, King Friend was on this four wheeler and it flipped in the pool. I mean, in the, in the lake back there. This bitch fell. He wrecked. In the, in the fold, it went in the lake, y'all. It wasn't even a lake. It was like a little river back there. And it was submerged all the way inside the water, upside down. So we had to get it out. We brought it over to our friend's house. He lived like right up there, like the house right there. And we drained it or whatever. But we didn't change the oil in it. You know what I'm saying? None of that shit. Well, I didn't have it then with my forward. So I bought it from Nate. Uh, and that was my first time riding the other day. I had rolled down the King House and did I, you know. So then I went, uh, Young and Ace, he was riding this one. And we rolled it, rolled it, rolled it. We went, we went out the neighborhood, we rolled it, and then it turned off. And it went turn back on. So we're like, damn. So we kept trying to like turn it on, whatever, whatever. So we're like, we did we did a push start on. You know how you um push it and pop the clutch and it automatically turn on. So it came on and King was like, come on, let's just go, get on the other four So we're like, alright, bet. So we we were flying, trying to come all the way to the crib. So he stopped, like almost at the front of the gate in our neighborhood. This whole pipe was red. Like I'm talking about like fire red. Then if you looked inside the pipe, you just see nothing but fire ass red just sitting up in there. Like so we're like, damn, like how the fuck that happened? Like we don't understand how that happened. Some of y'all might know how it happened. You feel me? Like we pushed it, popped the clutch, came and it, and it started up. It went start up regular. It rolled it, we flew, like we were flying all the way here. Now, I don't know if that nigga wasn't shipping the clutch or what, but that whole fucking pipe was red. And it was, like, showing fire red coming out the pipe. So, uh, I got to take this folder right here and actually get it checked out. Y'all see, I ain't got my truck right now, so I can't do it right now. And I don't even have the place open, but I definitely got to take this folder and get it uh, checked out because it ain't acting right. And then once they get there, I'm going to add a pipe on it like mine, you know what I'm saying, the FML pipe. And, you know, hook it up. But I know I gotta change my pipe on my four wheeler too. I'm in my, I'm in my oil. I see a pipe. I gotta change my oil. I actually got it back there already. I'm gonna change it. Might do it for a video. Cause I forgot how the hell that man said do it. I'm gonna have to go on YouTube and learn how to do it first day and come change it. <laughs> but yeah, man. So uh, anyway, like, I know I got off subject. You know what I'm saying? And again, man. Again, man. Don't take this wrong. But like I told y'all, man, I'm, I'm human. You know, everybody know. If, like if you. If, you gotta meet me off, outside of YouTube to actually see like the kind of person I am. And you are, and, and for the ones that that claim they don't like me, you'll be like, damn, that nigga actually cool as shit. Like he's very cool and humble. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta just meet me, man. But I have to have fun the YouTube shit. You gotta think about it. I got a lot of eyes on me. Then you got a lot of people that just swear up and down. They just know you. You know what I'm saying? They just swear you like this. They swear you this. They swear you that. And you know, sometimes you gotta talk your shit. You gotta pop that shit sometimes, but. You know, I just be having fun, man, you know, living life, man, like, the shit don't bother me, but I have to talk my shit sometimes, because if I don't, people gonna think they just gonna step on me, but no, we ain't, we ain't having none of that, you ain't gonna step on me, cuz, no sir, I got my damn house, I came and did my, uh, my little mulch, whatever this shit called, got it all looking good and stuff, shit look beautiful, man. Did it for my wife, so that for her yard can look pretty. We want, we want our yard just looking in the kind of way, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these people be outside every day really taking care of their lawn, man. So, you know, some on the way, you gotta keep their grass looking good. They just came and cut it yesterday. They actually come cut it every week. For real, for real. But, I want y'all to know one thing though. If I got any young boys watching me right now, or even if you older, bro, man, never just give up on your dream, bro. Like, never, because you never know where God will take you in life, especially when he see that you're doing your best. Cause like I told y'all, like I told, like I had told him on my live, I know a lot of y'all probably missing my own lives, I'm going live on YouTube. I told them, one thing about life that I that I live by, and you know, it kinda helped me get to where I'm at today. I looked at it like this, you know, 
when God, you gotta, you gotta have 100% faith in God with anything. All right, when God see that you doing your best to be, to get to the destiny that you want to get to in your life, like you know you want to be whatever you want to be, and you doing your best to get to that point in life, right? All right. One thing about life, people don't understand, man. God go put a, he go through a lot of speed bump, a lot of curveballs on your path. You know what I'm saying? You go run into a lot of those problems in your path on your way to success because, like, the road to success is not easy at all. Like a lot of people think that it's just easy. It's not. Now, God go, he go through a lot of objects in your way. If he see that you going forward, you ain't let none of that stop you. I personally, this is what I believe. If God see that you're doing your all, he go meet you halfway. Let's just say you you trying to be successful and you done ran into a lot of problems in your life. You know what I'm saying? You done, you done let's just, how can I put it? You you lost this person and, and this hip happened to you. This person switched up on you. Uh, you try to get a job and you didn't it didn't apply for you so damn now you down you know what I'm saying or 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 right now you you doing your your all but it just seems like nothing going your way like everything happening to you but the main key point you not giving up you steady going you like all right this ain't working for me but I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna just keep on keep on grinding I'm gonna just keep on going until to it's my time. That's where you keep your faith in God. You don't give up. See, one thing I learned in life, you know what I'm saying? Success, the, the road to success is not for everybody. You know, everybody always think that God just pick on them or something like that. Nah, you know, God got to make sure you built for the for the, for the the road you trying to go down. Can't just put you, you can't just be a weak, a weak link and be up at the top. You know what I'm saying? And, and you can't handle the pressure that come with all this. See, once God see that you can handle all these, he can, you can handle this situation, you can handle that situation. All right, you pass that, you pass this. All right, now I can handle this situation, I pass that. Now he's like, okay, this person ready for what I'm about to, uh, you know what I'm saying, gift them with. Well, bless, you know what I'm saying? This person ready for this. This person has passed all the tests and everything, so now it's time for me to reward them. And now you got what you've been working for your whole life to get to, you know what I'm saying? Because you're ready for it. Now, you know what I'm saying? I, I still thank God to the day I'm 21 years old. And I've been going through a lot. Like a lot of y'all today, they don't know half of the shit that I've been through. You know what I'm saying? I, I probably don't look like it. Y'all probably think that I came from a wealthy family. Y'all probably think that damn, that nigga ain't go through nothing. He was spoon fed. You can think that. But I'm here to tell you, man, I've been through a lot, bro. I've been through a lot, cuz. And the thing about it, why, why, why sometimes I had to cry tears of joy. Like my granddad, my granddad used to always tell me, sometimes you go just sit in your room and you go, you just go cry. But it ain't hurt tears, it tears of joy because of the shit that you've been through. Sometimes I had to cry tears and joy just to realize, like, damn, man, I never gave up. I never gave up. Through all the shit that I've been through, I never gave up. Sometimes I, I used to have to go cry behind the bed, you know what I'm saying, shed a cup of tears, but I never gave up. I kept going. Like, I kept my foot on the pedal, man. I just said, you know what, man, I'm going to keep going. Better days on the way. So, you know, it just feels good that I can be blessed where I'm at. You know, because like everybody be like, man, you just a YouTuber, you only successful because it's okay, yeah. But I want you to ask yourself this question. How many people are trying to be a YouTuber? How many people are trying to get to where I'm at? Ask yourself that. Like, think about it. How many people? How many? How many people that you know right now trying to do YouTube? If it was that easy, how come all these people ain't want me right now? That says a lot. I didn't just get lucky and do this shit. This shit ain't just come out. Look, ooh, pick up a camera. Ah, everybody think I'm funny. Oh, all right, million dollars rolling in. That shit didn't come like that. It's a hard work and dedication to get here. You feel me? And once I found out it was the land I want to go in life, I had to man I had to manifest this shit. I had to like make sure like okay, if this is what I'm gonna do, I gotta put my all into this shit. Like, and I gotta learn, I gotta do it, I gotta I gotta do whatever it takes for me to get to the top on this platform. Because for some reason, God gifted me to make people smile. That's just that. God gifted me and my wife to put a smile on other people's faces. And that's and my reward is the money that I make from it. Period. You know what I'm saying? So all I'm saying, man, you know, I'm just trying to give y'all like a little more, a real, some real life motivation, you know, like just keep going, never give up. And you never know when God will just say that, okay, this person ready. Who would have ever thought two years after I graduated, no, 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 10 months after I graduated high school, my dream is going to start coming true. 10 months after I graduated high school, I made my first $30,000. Well, we. I'm gonna start saying we, cause I don't want people to get it misunderstood. Understood. Me and my wife. You know what I'm saying? 
10 months after I graduated high school, we made 30,000. And a lot of people don't understand, I brought her along with me. You feel me? Real nigga shit. You know, you can't forget that. I made this girl quit her job. This girl was going to the Navy. I made this girl, I ain't made her. I asked her and she trusted me because I asked her, I bet, I said, just, I want you to just put your trust in me and believe me. I promise you, I'm gonna make you rich. That was my exact words to this girl. She ain't know nothing about YouTube, none of that. She was all right, she was getting up every day, Monday through Friday, working 12 hours a day. And one thing I love about her, she never complained. I had, I had, I was like, damn, I was like, how you do this? Put, she, this girl got up every morning, put steel toe boot shoes on, and went to work for 12 hours a day, Monday through Friday. And sometimes she was working on Saturday, and that used to make me mad. I didn't like that. I'm like, nah, man, you shouldn't be working on Saturday. I ain't like that. They took advantage of her. But I asked this girl, I said, listen to me. I want you to put your shirt to me, and I promise you, I'm going to make you rich. And she did it. You feel me? I'm a man of my word. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, a lot of people talk nowadays, but I'm, I'm, I'm more of a man than a lot of you niggas, and that's facts. Hands down. I don't care what nobody say. I know for a fact. I'm more of a man than a lot of these niggas. I'm only 21. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I tell y'all, age don't mean shit. Best believe that. You know? And, and, and when, I grad, when I graduated high school, she hit me, got the job. I was there for six months. Six months I was there. In October, I quit. Made her walk. I made her quit too. I said, now nah, we're gonna quit. We're gonna walk off the job. She was like, nah, can we just not nah nah we're gonna leave today. We go we go walk off today. Like why like, in the middle of work, we go walk off. I can't take this no more. We gotta go. She was scared, grabbed her, we left. Four months later, boom, thirty thousand dollars in a month. I told her, I said, trust me, go do YouTube. I said, if YouTube don't work, I promise you I'm gonna go back with my I'm gonna go work with my daddy and you ain't gotta work. I'm gonna go work with my daddy and get get money until we, we get to where we um, what I'm trying to get to. I gave my word, and boom, it happened. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, once you get that mindset, once you believe in God, and once you get that mindset when you really want something, you go really do it, and go, you go actually go out and do what it take to get there, you go get that. I'm telling you. Like, you go get that. Once you got that mindset, that's why I tell y'all, success is not for everybody because everybody not built like this. But once you get that mindset where you feel like I can do whatever, I want to, and that's why I feel like I'm finna go even higher, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna, I'm finna go higher, because like, I'm here now, I'm still home, I'm like, okay, I got this far, I need to go further. So, if I did, if I got here on my mindset, I know I can go way farther in life with my mindset, you see what I'm saying? And that's what I'm working on right now. That's why like now I'm really taking, I'm taking my, my craft to the next level, and I'm trying to go and achieve other goals in life that I, that I want to achieve, you know? And I want let nobody get in my way or stop me. If you get in my way, I'm gonna run your ass clean the fuck over, and I mean that. I mean that, you know what I'm saying? If anybody get in my way, I'm gonna run their ass over. That's just how I, that's how I look at success. Nobody gonna stop me, nobody. You feel me? So, I want all y'all to try to gain that same mentality. You did? Gain that same mentality, and I promise you, you'll start seeing, you'll start seeing different routes in your life. And rule number one, always keep God first, and always really mean that. It's easy to say that, oh, I got my trust in God. Oh, I believe in God. It's easy to say that. Any, anything can roll off your tongue. It's all about your actions. You gotta walk that walk, cause anybody can talk that talk. Best to believe that, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna hold y'all up too long, you know? It's crazy because I was gonna plan on dropping one video today, but this gonna be one video by itself. And I'm about to get ready to uh, head out and go to the stream and stuff. I think I'm gonna pull the box Chevy out. I know my boy Rob on the way over here. But yeah, uh, I've been just driving my wife's car, but today I think I'm gonna drive that box. You know what I mean? No cap. So um, I appreciate all the love and support, honestly, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, turn post notification bell on. More videos on the way. You know, I just felt like I wanted to just get that message out of my chest. It's just a beautiful day out here today, man. I feel good. So, you know what I'm saying? I got to pass that energy down to you guys, man. If I feel good, I want y'all to feel good. Whatever you're going through right now, you got to put in your mindset that, man, listen, God just put me through a test. I got to pass the test. If you want to be successful, you got to pass that test. In order for me to graduate high school, or in order for any of us to graduate high school, you have to pass them exams. You know what I'm saying? You don't just go to school and just pass. You gotta pass that test. That's exactly how life is. You gotta go wake up and whatever you're going through, you gotta pass that shit. You gotta get past, you gotta keep going. You can't never give up. Cause if you give up on the test, guess what gonna happen? You go flunk. If you give up on life, guess what gonna happen? You go you go live that life. You know what I'm saying? You go live with calm with giving up on life. 
you know? So I always keep that in the back of your mind, you know what I'm saying? Peace out, man. I love all y'all, man. I'm out.